you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, Lord, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they don't follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shot, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. heavy points you bringing out, Doc. How many of y'all ready for the third world's war? Do you know America's getting ready to go to war? What would you do if America fell? I want to ask white people that. What would you do if America fell? How would you survive? What would your life be like? What would be your religion? Uh-oh. What would you do could you tell me, black man, you look like a seasoned black man, successful, and came up in D.C. Can you answer that question for me? Simple question. Say again. You from D.C.? Yeah, so oh, you should definitely, you a man that should know. This is a good question for you. What would black people do if America fell in the third world's war? What would black people do? Oh, come on, bro. You, I know you know. Don't tell me you ain't got an answer for me. Do not tell me there's a black man that from D.C. that don't have a... I don't accept that, man. Dressed in white, he looking clean, too. He looking clean as, as could be. He done, he done try to whisper some evil in your ear. Don't even worry about it. I'll shake him off. Shake him off. We here among brothers, man. Don't even worry about it, man. Yeah, you shook. Yeah, I know. I know you shook. I know you was heartbroken. I knew that's why you went and whispered in his ear. You whispered in his ear because you got demons on you. You got demons on you. No, we all don't. No, we all don't. No, we all don't. You got demons on you. It's why you leave it. It's why you run it. It's why you, it's why you leave it on the man. Well, now's your chance to defend yourself. What did you say to him then? What did you say to him? What did you say to him? Of course. Of course you can't tell me. You know why? Because you a man that failed in life. Don't worry about it, bro. You failed. Brother, you, let me tell you something. You failed in life. And you failed black people, bro. And you don't want to be told that you got to stand up and fight again. You don't want to be told that you cannot give up black man. Black man, you must not give up in America to help and build your people up, man. You must not give up, man. How you gonna give up on each other, man? How you gonna let somebody else put it in your spirit that we done? We ain't never done. We ain't never been done before. Why would we be done now? Why should we give up now? Don't go, bro. I need that answer. I need that answer. That's a, that's a hurt piece. You breaking our heart. These young boys, they want, they want your answer. They want to know. That's all right, bro. We're going to work it out on this corner. That's why we out here. We out here because there's a ton of people that got demons on them. And they can't fight the demon that wants to break them and destroy them in this empire. You understand? That wants to break them and destroy them in this empire. Every time I come out and speak, all the demons come to visit me. <laughs> and I love it. And I love it. You know why I love it? Because... We here to cast them demons out of you, black man, black woman. That's right. Let me tell you something, man. You are the greatest chosen people that have ever walked the face of the earth. Any man that have ever studied the Bible knows that God had a chosen people. And only one chosen people. God didn't choose everybody. He chose one people. And guess what? Those people, he, he proclaimed them to be a special people onto himself above all nations on the earth but you know what has happened to black men in this kingdom black men have been broken in this kingdom they spirit have been broken in this place and what has happened is they only got strength 
to uphold the slave master. They only got strength to do the things the slave master wants you to do. We only got strength to get high. We only got strength to sleep with another man's woman. We only got strength to sell drugs. We only we got plenty of strength to kill and murder each other. But you know what we ain't got no strength up? You know what we weak as hell? You know what we weak as hell on? We weak as hell on coming together. We weak as hell on building each other up. We weak as hell on correcting each other. And because of it, the other nations laugh at us, man. How you gonna be in Washington, D.C., walking around halfway destroyed in this city that's filled with black people? All these black people, and you telling me we can't help each other in this city? That's because black men got demons on them. If you live in the life of a homosexual, you got a demon on you. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to break your heart. If you selling drugs and killing your own people, you got demons on you, man. And everybody want black men. See, he upset now. He upset all. He upset now. Oh, he upset now. Oh, you all upset. Oh, you all upset. Where's my bag? I'm trying to find my bag. Where's my bag? Listen to me, listen to me. And the only way this gets fixed is if somebody willing to confront you with those demons in you. That's the only way you can get fixed. Like, you don't want to hear, they didn't want to hear Christ. They didn't want to hear his disciples. Why? No, brother, they ain't going to hurt that man. Listen, if they wanted to hurt that man, they would have hurt that man. You think we couldn't have hurt that man if we wanted Brother, we trying to save that very man. And I'm going to go a step further. Some of us was just like that brother before. Some of us was him. That brother is us. We ain't no different than him. We the same brothers. Here's the difference. That brother got demons on him. He's upset that I'm bringing up that he got demons on him. And here's why. The demons want to call him out and destroy him. Right. They would love for us to harm him. You understand? But here's what you got to do. You got to confront demons. That's right. I don't want you to be a drug addict no more. That's right. I don't want you to be homeless no more. That's right. I don't want you to die in these streets no more. That's right. I don't want you to see you get wiped out while the white man build condominiums for a million dollars each. Right. Black man, you the greatest man on the face of the earth. That's right. But you know what your problem is? You don't want to fight your demons. Right. And I'm here to give you the courage to do it. I'm here to give you the courage, man, to put your spirit back on. That's right. You are a great and noble people at one time. You are a special people at one time. Right. No nation ever came up to you before and tried to destroy you. That's how powerful you are. Now guess what now? This man throw you in jail, string you out on drugs, destroy your family, do all kinds of evil things to you. And guess what you do? Nothing, nothing. You don't do a damn thing. Let's, listen, wait till the white man pull up on this corner, watch how good he gonna behave. Watch how good he gonna be. But guess what? But guess what? We love and hate each other. That's the demon on us. That's the demon on us. But you know what we don't hate? We don't hate hating each other. And that's what we should hate. That's what we should hate. We should hate the fact that we've been destroyed under this white man. I pulled into D.C. I ain't been to D.C. in a while. I pulled into D.C. I saw all the brand new buildings they built with million dollar condos in them. And I come down here and guess what? My brothers is destroyed out here. My brothers is on drugs out here. My brothers is in and out of jail out here. My brothers is in the homeless shelter out here. And if I tell my brothers that they are destroyed because they have demons on them, they hate me for it. They hate me for it. You see the problem? That's a big problem. That's a big problem. But it take a strong man to help a strong black man that's destroyed. That's right. Give me your second question. Go ahead. 
we are actually going into a third world's war. Many of us gonna die in this war. Let me tell you what they gonna try to do with these brothers. They gonna try to put these brothers in jail. And then they gonna try to put them in the military. And then they gonna try to send them to the other side of the world to die for another man's kingdom. It is it's beyond the mind, brother. They actually using weapons. They actually using weapons to kill and to destroy. No, brother, just weapons, all kinds of weapons. My point is this, black man, you gotta get ready. You gotta, the scripture say, lay up your follow ground. Lay it up, because your follow ground is destroying you in Washington, D.C., black man. You supposed to be running this city, man. This supposed to be your city. This ain't supposed to be some other man's city. This is your city, black man. But they've destroyed you in this city, man. They've wiped you out in this kingdom, man. And here's the thing. Jesus Christ was a black man. And Jesus Christ died to deliver black people out of hell. That's why Jesus Christ died. He died so you would never be a drug addict again. He died so you would never be homeless again. He died so you would never have to hate your brother again. He died so you would know who your enemy was. You understand? That's why he did what he did. That's why these things happen. But if you tell black men, it breaks their heart. It breaks their heart that they have lost the war and that they got to prepare for the next war. It breaks their heart that they live in this life. And brother, you got to wake up and find out everything you were taught was wrong. Martin Luther King was wrong. Malcolm X was wrong. All your black leaders was wrong. Al Sharpton was wrong. All of them was wrong. How do I know they was wrong? I don't need no other proof except looking at you. All I got to do is look at you. I look at you and I see that they was wrong. Because look what they allowed this white man to do to you. Look what they allowed him to do to you. They allowed him, they allowed him to come and destroy my brothers. They allowed him to destroy my brothers so bad, if I tell my brothers they destroy, they hate me for it. Brother, you could do better. You could do greater. You could be greater. You fail. Like any cat, if you go to the game, and you go play the game and you lose, you don't go home, you get up the next time and you play again. That's what you do. You don't give up on the game. But black man, you've been broken out here. They hurt you out here. I ain't hurt you. I ain't never did nothing but feed you in DC. I ain't did nothing but never clothe you in DC. I ain't do nothing but try to teach you in DC. But you hate me. But you don't hate the white man that stomped all over you for 400 years. That made slaves out of your grandparents. That made you eat gruel out of a trough. That took your mama and used her in any way that he wanted. That took your brothers and sisters and destroyed them. You ain't mad at him. Oh, you peaceful with him. You will sit on the corner and chill when he walked by. You ain't got no argument. You ain't got no beef. You ain't got none of that for him. But your brothers that came over here in slavery with you, that suffered in the ghetto with you, that lived and died with you, you mad because they say, brother, we got demons to fight. We got demons to fight. We got things inside us that have convinced us to do evil that we got to get up out of us. If we get it up out of us, Guess what? We'll start a new life. Right. And when the white man sends us to get high and to sell drugs, we'll tell him step off. Right. When he rules programs to destroy our families, we'll tell him step off. We'll watch ourselves become greater men and greater women. Think about yourself when you was that young boy. Right. Before you reached the age to move out the house. Oh boy, you had so much ambition in your life. You had so much you wanted to do. You wanted to go to college. You wanted to get a job. You wanted to start a business. 
You wanted to make a family. You had all these dreams in your heart. And your slave master stole them all from you and left you with nothing. Left you broke and busted and destroyed. And then he gave you drugs to anesthetize you, to keep you calm for a short period of time. He, that's what he gave you. And he destroyed you so bad that if a black man come on the corner and say, we got to fight them demons, it breaks your heart. It hurts you too much. You can't handle it. And it's only words. It's words about you and your well-being. And here's what you don't understand. That these are words of love. We kill and die for what we love. And black men and black women, we love black people. And that's why we stand out here on this corner, man. That's why we do what we do. Day in and day out. Week in and week out. Nobody cares about you. You think if you die tomorrow, you think these, these businesses would give a damn about you? You think they would care and give $5 to your funeral? Right. Hell no, they wouldn't. Right. But you know who would? The brothers that you hate. The brothers that you hate, they would. If your mama or your daddy came down here and said that you died, that you died because of some reason on this corner, can you help me? Guess what? None of these businesses will help her. They tell her, get out the store. They tell her, get out the store. But you know who would help her? Your brothers. Your brothers. The brothers you hate so much. The brothers you don't even want to tell you that you got demons on you. You hate them. And it's a demon. It's a demon. And you got to fight it, black man. If you fight it, you're going to be great again. I promise you, you're going to be great again. I promise you every dream you ever had from a little boy or a little girl, you're going to fulfill every last one of them dreams. But you got to give up the demons. you got to give them up to get there. That's a fact. That can't be denied. No way around it. you got to go there to be successful. You got to go there to be successful. To be successful, you got to return back to your laws, your statutes, your commandments. You can't live the life of another man's laws, another man's statutes, another man's commandments. Where's the black man's statutes and commandments? That's the ones I want to learn about. Where are those at? Where are those things at? Okay. Where are those commandments? Because those are the commandments that will help us. Those are the commandments that would fix our life. Those are the commandments that would stop the evil that has entered into you every day, that has destroyed your life every day, that keeps you up at night every day, that keeps you upset and destroyed every day. That's the one that's shortening your life, black man, black woman. I want to see you change. I want to see you do better. I want to see you succeed. But you can't succeed without your God. You think you can, but you can't. The proof is in the pudding. You haven't been able to do it. You've only been able to get angry. My man. See, even the white man understands. You Go ahead, please. Right. Say that again. Say that again. Say that one thing. Say that one thing. Let the world hear you say that, man. The system is meant to oppress you. You hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? The white man even said, this system is here to oppress you, man. It's here to oppress you, black man. Listen, even he said, the way out is we got to look out for each other. Right. I need you, soldier. I need you. I need that warrior that's in you. That's right. I need that strength you got. You that's know right. why? Because I got a war to deal with. I got a war with this white man to deal with. And I need your strength. I don't need your weakness. I don't need your drugs. I don't need your emotions. I need your strength, black man, to do the job that God called us to do, which is to fix our people. Set our lives are right. Get to our laws. Live like kings and queens on the earth, like 
like we was meant to do from the day we got on this planet. Yes, sir. My man, good enough we do it like that then. There you yes, go. Sir. Right on. Come on with me. All right. That's what you need, brothers, sisters. That's what your life needs. Right. You need that in your life. Because it's the missing piece to the puzzle. Don't tell me you don't lay on your bed at night and say, why is my life like this? I'm going to get it right. Tomorrow, I'm going to fix it. Tomorrow, I'm going to get it right. You say it all the time. Yet, it never gets fixed. Why? Because you're missing the piece to the puzzle. You must fight the demons that control your life. Now, you got to answer the demon. When the demon come to you and say, man, let's go get high. You got to answer it. You got to say, hell no. And if you fail and you go get high, you got to come back and say it again. Hell no, not today. You got to fight the demon. You fight the demon, you're going to be great in this earth. You fight the demon, you will dictate everything going on in D.C. But if you don't fight the demon, it's going to destroy you. That's his purpose, man. His purpose is to destroy you and to wipe you out. His purpose is to bring you down, to sap all the spirit out of you, to weaken you to nothing but an emotional thing, to break you, black man. That's its purpose. That's what it's for. But you got to fight it, and God will be with you. I know a lot of you done gave up on God. You think God ain't going to exist no more. Or you looking for a God in the Arabs, or a God from the white man, or a God from the Oriental. You looking for another God because you feel like your God gave up on you. Your God did not give up on you. Your God clearly wanted you to follow laws, statutes, and commandments. You know why? Because he wanted to make you great. Give me where he said, yeah, if you follow what I say in Deuteronomy, you shall be the great, greater than any other nation. You know what I'm talking about. Read this for me. I want to show you the path of your future, black man. I want to show you the path of your success. I want to show you the power of getting away from getting high and getting away from going to jail and getting away from being destroyed by your enemies in this place, man. All I'm saying, give me a chance. Let me talk for a minute. Let me at least speak a few words of care for you. Can I at least care for you? Can I, you know what they say? They say a real friend will always tell you the truth. Is that a true statement? That's a true statement. A real friend will always tell you the truth. Brother, I'm a real friend. I ain't no fake friend. I ain't gonna talk phony to you. I ain't gonna gas you up. I'm gonna talk to you like a real friend. I'm gonna talk to you like a real brother. Black man, you done destroyed yourself. That's what a real friend would tell you, man. Right. You ain't gonna tell me these black men out here today ain't thinking about their kids they wish they could be with today on Saturday. Right. But they can't be with their kids, why? Because they know they on drugs, or they dealing with demons, or some horrible thing is going on in their house. And they wish they could, you think a black man don't love his kids? Every black man loves his babies, man. Right. Every last one of them. But this empire done destroyed. Look at this brother holding his daughter. Look at it. He's holding them beautiful girls. Look at their hair. Look at how he raising them up. They are beautiful princesses. Look how proud he walking. Look at bopping. He bopping like a proud ass black man. Why we all don't have that? Why? He we got to fight. We got a war in front of us. We got to deliver ourselves from this hell. And we can do it. But you need a friend, black man. You need a friend that'll tell you the truth. A friend that'll tell you the truth even if you don't want to hear. That's what you need. You need a friend that care about you because nobody else has. Because everybody that called themselves your friend betrayed you and used you and destroyed you, man. And so you don't trust nobody no more. You don't trust anybody. Read it for me. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. You hear what God said? If you could just hang with God for a minute 
If you could just keep his commandments, his laws, his statutes, if you could diligently walk after them laws, statutes, and commandments, this is what God said he'd do for you. Read. The Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. You hear that, black man? God made a deal with your forefathers. He said, if you did what I told you to do, I would make you greater than any nation on this earth. And let me tell you something, there's some powerful nations on this earth. America's powerful. China is powerful. European countries, they powerful. Even the Arabs, they're powerful. But God said, I make you greater than all of them. Greater than all of them. What happened, black man? Why ain't you greater than all of them if God said it? If God said it, why ain't you greater? I'll tell you why. Because you didn't keep your end of the bargain. You didn't keep your end of the bargain. God kept his end of the bargain. He said, if you do what I tell you to do, I will make you greater than any nation on earth. But you didn't keep your end of the bargain. You failed. You failed on the Lord. And guess what? Now that you failed on the Lord, the Lord turned his back on you. He turned his back on you, black man. And now you got to get him to turn his back forward towards you, man. Because there's a war coming. The third world's war is coming into play. The third world's war is coming into play. Read. Revelation chapter 9 verse 12. One woe is past. What? One woe. What does that mean, one woe? It means one world war has passed. Read on. And behold, there come two woes. More woes. Which means there's three world wars to take place in the earth. This is biblical prophecy. Read on. Slap it. Behold, there come two woes. More hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river of Euphrates. You hear what God said? Loose them angels, man. Loose them angels to destroy these nations on the face of this earth. Loose them angels to bring down hell on this earth. You know why God is doing that? Why is God loosening these angels to destroy on this earth? To save you, black man, black woman. To save you from your oppressor, black man and black woman. To deliver you from your oppressor. To get you out of the hell that you've been in for 400 years. God wants to save you from America. God wants to save you from what has happened to you here. Why don't you let him? Why don't you let him, man? Why don't you let him save you? Why don't you let him deliver you, black man? Why don't you let him fix your life for once in your life? Why don't you be strong enough for once in your life to decide what you do with your body, man? How are you gonna let something a white man made in a laboratory control your life? It's wrong, man. You deserve better than that. You deserve more than that. The world should be serving you. Instead, you serving them. And earlier I said, it fosters demons, right? I'm going to prove it to you. Give me, give me a witch in the Bible. I'm going to show you a witch in the Bible is not what you think it is. It ain't no woman on a broom flying through the sky. I'm going to show you a real witch according to the Bible. And I'm going to show you that the witchcraft of this place has destroyed you, black man, and taken your soul and turned you against yourself and turned your sister against yourself, herself. And God wants you back. Because guess what? You might think you're no good no more. You think I'm done. I'm no good. But God knows how valuable you are. That's why he put his name on you. That's why he called you Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah means he that is a prince of the power. That's what it means. When you hear somebody say the word Israel, that's the English translation of Yasha Allah. That means he is a prince of God. Black man, you are a prince of God. 
But right now, you living in hell, man. Let me show it to you. Show it to me. Uh, Exodus chapter 22, verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You hear what God said? Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You know what a witch is? A witch is somebody that creates a potion that turns you into a zombie. A witch is somebody that creates something that controls you with that thing that they create. That's a witch. Black man, you control. I know you don't want to hear. I know it pisses you off. I'm sorry I got to tell you, but Christ sent me out here to tell you. Christ cared enough about you that he said, Johanna, don't go out there and hang out with your kids and your family on Saturday. Don't you do that, Johanna. Don't go to the beach. Don't go to the movies. Don't take your wife out to a play. No, you go down in the street in, in the hood. You go down in the street downtown and you go talk to them brothers and sisters that's broken. They ain't gonna hear you, Johanna, but you go tell them what I told you to tell them and wake them up. Bring them out that darkness. Fix their life. Turn them around. Bring them back to the most high. And guess what? We gonna do it. We love you enough to do it, black man. We love you enough. This tough love. What they call it? Tough love. This tough love. This is where we came from. We came from where you at. Let me tell you something, man. I used to come out here years ago on 8th and 8th. Some of y'all know me, know my face. And some of the brothers that was out here, we lost them brothers, man. Them brothers died in, they, in, they, in their distress. Same brothers standing right out here. And we lost some of them brothers out. And we lost them at young ages, 20-something, 30-something. Some of them was teenagers, man. And they died. They died for nothing. Great men. Listen, black men are the greatest men on the earth. They sports figures. They music. They inventions. Everything that black people do is greater than anybody else. How can we afford to let them kill some of our brothers? We can't do it. You're welcome, sis. You welcome. Get off fly in the white car. You welcome, sis. Like, how can we afford that, brothers? How can we afford to let our people die and while this man become rich and powerful and great and with great inventions and goes to the moon and the stars while we die in this place? You're better than that. You're greater than that. But you got to fight. You got to fight them demons. You got to wake up one day and say, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. And I guarantee you, you call on the name of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and he will deliver you from what you've been going through, black man. He will, he will deliver you from it because he knows that you're sincere. He knows that you need it. He knows that you've been broken. He knows what has happened to you. The Lord said this to Moses. He said, Moses, go down to Egypt, for I have heard the cry of my people, and I have heard of the oppression of the Egyptians. That's what, Mo that's what God said to Moses. He told Moses to go down there, man. Go help them people. Everybody giving up on them, don't you? Everybody have given up on them, don't you? You stand with them. You deliver them. You help them, you fix them, you feed them, you clothe them, you house them. But you tell them what I said, tough love, but real love. Tough love, but real love. That's what black men have to do. Join me, man. Join me and help me save another brother. Help me save a brother you don't know. It's easy to save a brother you know, but can you save a brother you don't know? And I add more. Can you save a brother that hates your guts? Can you save him from himself? I say you can. I say a black man can do anything if he set his mind to do it. A black man is capable of anything if he set his heart to do it. I think we gave him enough today, Mashat. I think we gave him enough knowledge today. We can start packing up. We can start breaking it down. 
I think we gave them what they needed today. And we'll be back next week to give you a little more. We'll be back next week because we care about you. We give up our Saturdays and Sundays, black man. That's but right. I let that shit get in my way with some coming to me because I'm defensive. Listen, I, bro, I've been listen, I've been treated or like I know what you're going through because you defensive. People come at you. They be doing the same shit to me all my life. So the minute I heard you doing that, I, I reacted, bro. Same thing I'm working on, bro. And hey, you probably working on the same, bro. Hey, look, man. We, 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 it's a whole piece. Yeah, exactly. That's what we shouldn't be doing that, bro. There ain't nothing that, bro. Look. Like I said, as a man, I apologize for the disrespect, but I'm working on it myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to live my life like that or all the time. I'm on some other shit. Bro. I don't know if that's what I'm not on. The, bro, back in the day, I was on demon time. I was. I would have been right with that. Yeah, yeah. But now I call the demon, bro. I get offended, bro. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't feel that way, bro. Even though I should just learn it. They keep going, bro. I'm working on it, bro. Hey, God bless you, Thank man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. You don't know. That means a lot, bro. I had to do it, bro. I've been wanting to do it, but I was smoking and I wouldn't come around here with smoking all that shit. So, you know, I just walked around and walked through all the shit. Came back. All right, bro. You check me in next Saturday.